Well, welcome back to Working Football Club, Johnny Goddard. Thank you, David. I'm not sure that I ever expected to be able to say those words, because this is a, about third time lucky for Dallas, isn't it, to, to get you to come back? Yeah, it's been close a couple of times. Yeah. Um, I've got a lot of respect for Dallas, he's done a fantastic job here, um, and at the other places he's, he's managed. A um, couple of times, you know, I've, I've spoke to him and was close to coming back, but I've opportunities have come up to play full time football and, um, you know, made decisions that I thought were right. Um, but this year, you know, I had a conversation with him in the summer, um, and as soon as I spoke to him, I just wanted to get it done really. It was done very quickly. Um, yeah, just delighted really to have the opportunity to be back here. And uh, I can remember actually physically seeing you here one day last year about this sort of time as well. No, it must have been earlier because of the season being starting when it did, but uh, you chose to go to Ebbsfleet instead. Was that because it was full time? Yeah, it was full time and it was something that um, happened very quickly. Obviously, I've worked under Gary previously. Um, I wanted to stay full time football, which was, was important for me, um, but things didn't work out there. We had a tough year down at Ebbsfleet last year for, for many reasons. Um, and like I said, this year it was an easy decision for me. Um, so happy to be here. I'm just grateful for the opportunity that Das has given me. Um, and yeah, just can't wait for the season to get going now. Obviously, all the boys have not played football for a long time. Um, so, all itching to get back and looking forward to the season. Yeah. Well, um, I think Dowse sort of semi trailed your signing the other day on, on an interview he did when he said that there were a couple of new players signing, one of whom he thought would be very popular with working supporters. I'm assuming he meant you for that. but. Uh, Having said that, joking part, you must be the single most popular ex Stevenage and ex Aldershot player that has ever set foot in this football club. Never mind playing for it again. Yeah, maybe so. I mean, you know what it's like. Football is a strange industry. You know, players have to make decisions, and we're not at the level where we can pick and choose. You know, financially where we go all the time. Um, obviously, I moved on to Stevenage. That was a, a deadline day decision. They bought me from Swindon. Um, Went there with the, the guarantee of playing every week and eight games later the manager sacked and I never played again. So yeah. um, that didn't work out. And then on the back of that, you know, I needed to leave and get out and um, Aldershot gave me a chance to go down there when the club was, you know, really struggling in the league under Gary Wardock, who's a very good manager. Um, I think when I went there, the team hadn't won for like 14 games or something and it was, it was tough. But um, I think anyone who knows me knows my love for this club and the time I spent here was, you know, so enjoyable. Um, I look back with fond memories and uh, Saturday I always, you know, look, check the results. I check Tottenham and Woking always first and, you know, to have the opportunity to come back here and, and prove myself again, you know, it's massive for me. And of course the, the, the old saying goes, never go back when you've chosen to. Um, is it because part-time fits in with your life more now? Or is that incidental? It's incidental, I think. I, right. I speak to Dallas and I'm excited about you know, what, what we're trying to achieve here. Um, I don't think anyone would be happier if we got in the Football League than myself. You know, if we were able to achieve that, that would you know, make me really proud. And that's what Dallas wants to achieve. Um, he's, very, he's very clever with the players he brings in. You look already at, at the quality of signings and the core of the squad that he, he's kept. There's no reason why we can't do really well. Um, and yeah, just the opportunity to come back here, like I said, you know, it's the right time for me. Um, you know, we're part time, but we'll work hard when we train um, and we won't lose ground on the other clubs, I'm sure of that. I mean, I'm, I'm deadly serious about your popularity here, and, and you know in, in, your, in yourself that that's the case. I mean, that you won all those awards in your last season here, and so on and so forth. Does that put extra pressure on you? In relation to this club, as opposed to being at Ebbsfleet, I'm just putting the pressure on myself rather than yeah. it coming from outside. I think um, I'm not here for sentimental reasons. You know, it's great, and you know the, the crowd here are fantastic. I've been back here as a supporter a few times since I've left yeah. the club and watched the games and you know the rest of it. Um, but I'm not back here for you know sentimental reasons. I want to do well. Um, I want to do well for the club and, and help the squad and help the team do well now. So. What's gone on in the past is obviously nice to look back on, but you know, as soon as the season kicks off, it doesn't really count for anything, and I'm fully aware of that. And uh, let, let's go back to when you were well, after you left here. That was that was a big jump, was it? To, from National League to League One, was it a big jump or wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Looking back on it, I think 
you know, I learned a lot from it. I love my time at Swindon. Swindon's a big club, you know, very well supported. Um, you know, worked under some very good coaches and managers there and played with some good players. Um, the experience I gained from some of the games, you know, we won at Bolton, we beat Bradford, played at Bramall Lane. Um, you know, that's they're great memories. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was, you know, it was a, it was a big jump, but one that I really enjoyed and learned a lot from. Um, and then yeah, you know, things things happen in, in a footballer's career, and you go on a on a journey, and you're never quite sure where you end up. And you had uh, your first season at Swindon. You, you did you play 38 times or something like that? Yeah, I played a lot of games right? at Swindon. Yeah, I played a lot of games, and like I said, I enjoyed it there. Um, obviously, you know, it didn't end hugely successfully, and I, you know, moved on in the end. Like I said, it got up and late. A new manager came in and. Um, yeah. I had an opportunity on deadline day to go to Stevenage, which um, all happened very quickly, and yeah, that was that. Yeah, sometimes that's just how it goes, isn't it? And then, as you, as you explained already, Stevenage changed their manager a couple of weeks later, and he didn't fancy you, and, and then you're not playing there either. It happens, you that's know. That's just it does, how it is. It yeah. does happen, and it happens to a lot of players, and you know, football's a game of opinions at the end of the day. Um, but as a player, at the end of, you know, it is, it's up to yourself to make sure you know it works, and you do well on the pitch and you know that's all I can focus on now. And uh, you had a, a, a while at Bromley with Neil Smith, how did you find working with him? Yes, yeah, Smudge is a good guy, he's a good character. Um, um, he's he's another, done, another massive fan yeah, favourite. We, you know. we had a few chats about the club. Yeah, and, yeah he's a good bloke. He's, um, it was a time where I was, I was training with a youth team at Stevenage, I was completely you know, not wanted and um, I had to get out and he gave me an opportunity to go there on loan. Sometimes it's difficult going alone because you're not actually seen as a part of the, the club and yeah. then you're sort of used a little bit sparingly and obviously other boys get priority sometimes that are signed at the club. Um, but Bromley's, Bromley's you know, got good set up and you've got a lot of respect for Spun. And uh, wh- where has Dallas told you that he f- sees you play? I think, I think the good thing about what we've got at the minute is obviously we've got a lot of attacking options even though you know we haven't signed loads of players. If you look at Tarps and Obviously, Matty Jarvis and myself coming in, there's options for him. Um, I think we'll be quite fluid when we attack. I'm not exactly sure. You know, we've got Max as well, who's a good player and, and can play in the number 10 position. Um, so, as long as we've got competition for places, I think we can all push each other and I think we'll, uh, we'll all fit in and play well together. Good. And uh, let's turn to outside football. How's the lockdown been for you? Because I think everybody knows about your coaching business. Presumably that has been hit hard. Yeah, it has. It's obviously lockdown's affected everyone some way. You know, there's no one that's not been affected. Um, I think it's been it's been tough because obviously what we do is work in schools. We coach kids. We have academies, and we've not been able to do that. Um, but we just need to look forward and try and adapt to maybe change what we do. We're doing uh, our summer camps now, which have been really popular. It's, you know, there's not many people on holiday. Um, a lot of kids have missed their football, just like us pros have. So, um, yeah, a lot of kids playing again now, which is great, and uh, something I really enjoy and you know passionate about. So it's good. Good. So the, the business will go on, and uh, you see that as being your long term future, do you? Um, I've done I've done some badges and looking to do more. Yeah, I, I just have football really. It's, yeah. it's on the telly when I'm not playing and coaching. So, you know, I think if you can go through your your life, I mean career in football well, no matter what role it is you've done you know you're a lucky man so um, hopefully yeah you know 27 so I've still got a few years left I was just going to say you, 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 your history sounds like you've you've been around a long time and so on and so forth but you were actually only 27 a few weeks ago weren't you yeah yeah so you, you must be you should be just coming into your prime physically. yeah I think the good thing personally you know what I'm proud of is I've played a lot of games so wherever I've been, I've always been a player to play. And maybe you look at and say, I've moved clubs too many times, but that's always because I want to play. So, you know, that, that might be detrimental to myself. But at 27, I've got a lot of appearances, a lot of experience. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot to give still as well. Yeah. Well, it's, as I said at the beginning, it's, it's wonderful to see you back here again. Um, all the working fans will desperately want you to be as successful as you were here before in mean, your final season when you won all those awards, was it 15 goals? Something like that from midfield, it was a... Uh, yeah. But of course, that's what drew your, drew you to Swindon's attention and got you the, the move which uh, you made the most of. So let's hope you can replicate that 
going forward. Thanks, David. Thank you very much. Cheers.